Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the bell so you never miss out on any mind-blowing facts we drop here every week. Today we're diving into something super cool and kind of weird if you think about it, Leap Day. Yep, that extra day that pops up in February every four years. Ever wondered why? Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly why we have a leap day. And trust me, it's going to blow your mind. All right, let's kick things off with a little history lesson. Don't worry, this isn't like school. This is the fun version. Our calendar is based on the Earth's orbit around the sun. We all know that it takes roughly 365 days for Earth to make one full orbit, right? Well, actually, it takes about 365.2422 days. That little extra bit, 0.2422 days or about six hours, might not seem like much, but over time, it really adds up. If we didn't have a leap day, those extra six hours each year would start to shift our calendar. After four years, we'd be about 24 hours off, a whole day. And after 100 years, we'd be off by around 25 days. Can you imagine celebrating Christmas in January or summer vacations in the fall? Crazy, right? So how do we fix this? Enter Julius Caesar. Yep, the Roman guy with the cool haircut. Back in 46 BC, he introduced the Julian calendar, which added an extra day, or leap day, every four years. This was a good start, but it wasn't perfect. It overcorrected by a little bit because the Earth's orbit is not exactly 365.25 days. Fast forward to 1582, and Pope Gregory III made some tweaks, creating the Gregorian calendar that most of the world uses today. This calendar fine-tunes the leap year rules so that we skip a leap day every 100 years, but not every 400 years. So, the year 2000 was a leap year, but 1900 wasn't. Crazy, right? Now you might be wondering what happens on a leap day. For most of us, it's just an extra day to live our best lives. But for some people, it's a special occasion. People born on February 29th, called leaplings, only get to celebrate their actual birthday every four years. Imagine being 16 years old but only having had four actual birthdays. Wild. Leap years also keep our calendars aligned with the seasons. This is super important for agriculture, as well as for holidays and cultural events. Without leap years, we'd slowly drift away from the correct dates, and our seasons would start to mix up. Imagine Halloween in the middle of summer or 4th of July fireworks in the winter. No thanks. So there you have it, folks. That's why we have a leap day. It's all about keeping our calendars in sync with the Earth's orbit. Next time February 29th rolls around, you'll know it's not just an extra day, but a crucial piece of our timekeeping puzzle. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to comment down below if you know anyone with a leap day birthday, or if you have any other cool calendar facts to share. Catch you in the next video. Peace out.